Yo, what is up guys? It's True John B. And real quick, I want to update you guys on the Sprint Note 2 that is now running official KitKat. So, I had my KitKat update installed on my Sprint 2 for 24 hours. And these are just my opinions on KitKat. I mean, you guys might have your own opinions and that's fine, but these are just slowly my opinions. Um, I'm not liking the KitKat update whatsoever. And uh, I'll get down to it. Basically, when you power on the device, if your screen is set up like this, you will notice that now at the right hand bottom corner of the screen is a camera shortcut. Uh, was this necessary in KitKat? No. Because if you're a customizer of your phone, I don't even know that's a word, customizer, but uh, if you customize your phone or whatnot, you know you can have your camera icon on the lock screen and you just slide it up and take you right to your camera. So was this necessarily needed in KitKat? No, it was not. So let's go on. Also, you would notice that now your battery icon is white, your time is white, your signal strength is white, and the Wi-Fi setting uh, is now white. Um, that's a cool little tweak, a little change, because everything was green and jelly bean, if you can recall. But, um, pretty much as from a standpoint, I kind of wish Samsung would have skipped the KitKat update to the Note 2. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't like it. I really don't see any difference between Jelly Bean and KitKat from a standpoint. A lot of people saying that the, f the screen unlocks... A lot faster um, is basically no lag anymore honestly I wasn't even seeing lag when I was on jelly bean I mean that's just my opinion I mean y'all might be seeing something differently than I'm seeing um, far as any new apps are concerned I did not witness or see any new apps installed on my particular model of the note there um, also, let me bring the device in a little bit close. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm kind of working with one hand here. But we're going to go to settings. We're going to click on more. Okay, right off the bat, you will see there is some difference in KitKat. Now you got something called default applications. Now, with uh, default applications, you can either have the, the regular messaging app that comes with the Note 2 or you can click on it and change it to uh, Hangouts. Now, that that's a pretty convenient uh, thing to have uh, as a part of this update, I would say. That's convenient for me anyway. Now, also, if you're a fan of third-party launchers, so I say if you didn't like uh, TouchWiz. Basically, at the top of this, I can't click on it because I don't have any launchers installed, which I did, but I uninstalled them because I was having trouble with them. But um, you can have third-party launchers that now, instead of you going all the way down and uninstall them through the app, you can actually do it through this process. So it, it is a pretty cool function to have now for default applications because now you can change, you can have different uh, launchers uh, and you can have different messaging apps as well. So that's a pretty cool update for that. But other, other than that, I'm still not impressed with KitKat. Um, let's go, let me see, um, something else that's different, location, uh, okay, yeah, location is also different, it actually gives you a list of apps that want to use the location you're at, and also, to me, I think this is a good thing, because it actually probably show you what is eating up your battery, which I which I am correct. It shows you what what app uses the most batteries. As you can see, the ones that request in my location, the battery usage is low, which that is good. Now, power saving mode. Now, this is new. Power saving. 
which is uses the Wi-Fi and mobile networks to estimate your location. That's what I have set. Now, high accuracy it uses GPS, Wi-Fi, and mobile networks to estimate location. You can tell off the bat it says high accuracy. That's probably going to eat up a ton of battery life. But me, I'm not really worried about battery life because I'm using a Zero Lemon 9300 milliamp battery, so I'm not too much of worried about battery. All like that with this uh, Zero Lemon attached to it. But um, if you're using a stock battery, then of course you're probably on the receiving end of worrying about going uh, without a charger, leaving home without your charger. So I wouldn't set it on a high accuracy uh, for for that. But uh, real quick. I'm going to show you guys that I am running the KitKat update. Bring it in close. There you go, 4.4.2. We're going to click on it. Hold it. And there you have it. Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Now, if I missed anything in this review, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I make mistakes. I am human. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Alright, that was just a little text message. But uh, anyway, if I did miss something in this review, or my opinion review, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any type of uh, trouble. Wait a minute, I am missing something. I'll take that back. Okay, now the keyboard and KitKat. Now, this is what I do like. Sorry about shaking the camera, you guys. I'm kind of trying to steer this thing with one hand. But in KitKat, what uh, I did notice was the Samsung keyboard got tweaked. And the only thing I tweaked was... Let me pull it from the screen real quick. Alright. Now, you see that's the Android uh, Samsung keyboard. If you hold it down, hit that, we now have emojis. So that's pretty cool because in the past, if you wanted to have emojis on an Android device in particular, you have to download the third party keyboards from the uh, Google Play Store. So now you don't have to worry about that anymore if your phone is running KitKat. If you, your phone does not have KitKat, then of course you're still probably using third party emoji keyboards. And a lot of them are trash. Just to let you know, a lot of them are pretty much trash. So that's pretty cool. Um, recently though, I've been experiencing some mad foreclosure uh, with the Samsung keyboard. Every time I would use it, a two second or three seconds later it comes up and says the Samsung keyboard unfortunately has forced closed. Why is that happening? I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments below if y'all are experiencing that problem. Um, I tried to reset the device, pull the battery numerous of times and it's not helping. So. Maybe you guys can let me know a tweak for that. But uh, other than that, I'm not experiencing any other glitches or anything with the KitKat update. Um, I'm just not liking it. I mean, that's just me. I played around with uh, other devices that had the KitKat update. And I think the reason why I like the other devices with KitKat because maybe um, the skins that were laid on top of KitKat, like LG... LG had an awesome skin laid atop of uh, KitKat that made it look awesome. I mean, awesome. Uh, TouchWiz needs to be updated a lot to, to make it stand out. I mean, I'm not going to diss TouchWiz, but I kind of wish they would get on the ball and tweak it, make it a little bit better. I mean, with KitKat, the thing I would love to see was the fresh new wallpapers, even though it wasn't a lot, but fresh new ones. Um, and we just didn't get it here. Uh, honestly, I think Samsung should have opted out of the Note 2 for KitKat. It's going on to be two years old coming up here soon. Uh, I know the Note 3 is out there with an awesome interface on it. Um, there's been reports on now the Note 4 coming out soon. So, I mean, it's awesome that Samsung is bringing all these devices full front, but... Honestly, I would have opted out with doing KitKat on the Note 2. That's just my opinion. Now, my phone is kind of messed up right now. My Note 2 is. Uh, as you can see, I'm bringing it a little bit close. I don't know if you can make that out on camera, but the adhesive glue around the screen is melted. How that happened, you guys, I have no clue. But um, I'm going to try to take care of this hopefully soon. 
So uh, stay tuned for another video. Um, I'm not getting a screen replaced that will basically void the warranty and everything else. So I might have to get another device. So stay tuned. Like I said, more to come. Uh, hopefully I can do more with the Note 2. Far as the reviews are concerned, I do want to do a Note 2 review, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this is just a Kit Kat review. This is not necessarily a Note 2 review. Um, coming up, you guys, I will have a review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. That also is running Kit Kat, and I'm going to show you guys a few things in that as well. So um, if you like the video, thumbs it up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It helps me a ton. Um, share the video, you guys. Let me know in the comments, again, what you think of the KitKat update. Are you having problems with KitKat and so forth? Again, I'm Shu John B, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.